shut up. Well, that would be all that USB noise. I just get really, really bored of the USB noise. I was playing Elite Dangerous yesterday, as I said, and um, I just got undocked. I was flying, and uh, the USB went bit doo bit doo bit doo And while it was doing all of that, I lost all control over the ship. Good morning, this train's bound for Morecambe. Please open the doors. So, I had to turn round and fly back in to the space station and dock losing control over the joystick about every 10 seconds for about 4 seconds that's really hard <laughs> <coughs> so yeah I um, got really annoyed with it last night actually really quite annoyed marker lights on uh, instrument lights uh, let's go for headlights Turn the tail lights off. Destination indicator on. Put the master key in, that'll come in useful. Reset that. Wait for the doors to shut. How are we doing back there? Other than the fact that half the train's missing. Right, DRA off. Right. Oh, we should put it in forward. Okay, fine, fair enough. You're going to be like that, are you? I guess my script hasn't updated it for this one yet. To the rail driver because the 150 needs a lot of customization to the rail driver because it's got a lot of bizarre custom behaviors in it. So we're starting off at Lancaster, 20 limit. Why are the destinations on the 150, 156 so minimal? I have no idea. No idea. You'd need to talk to Uvi and Thompson to find that out, I'm afraid. I guess they put on what they thought was reasonable at the time. Yeah, I was having good fun with um, with Elite last night. Used to play Elite a lot on the Sinclair Spectrum and on the BBCB. So I was really pleased when they uh, said they were doing it uh, for, the, for the PC. But um, I left it until the Christmas sale on Steam to pick it up. Because I'm tight, basically. I was hoping it would go on a discount, but it didn't. I actually know I was waiting for it because it wasn't on Steam. And basically I don't buy games that aren't on Steam anymore. Um, and then when they came, they went on to Steam, so I was like, oh well, I've got to buy it now, haven't I? <laughs> um, so I picked up the um, the game, and uh, I also, last night, I picked up um, Voice Attack and the HCS um, um, sound pack for it. That's awesome. Being able to just say, landing gear up, show galaxy map, divert power to shields, rather than have to remember which button does what is um, frankly epic. Bear Lane Platform 1. What ship am I? Fl I'm still in the in the original ship. You start off with whatever that is, Sidewinder, is it? I've not really got very far in the game. Yet. I haven't played it for that long. And um, for what I'm doing at the moment, which is just exploring, um, it's um, it does the job quite nicely, to be honest. I've got a nice big fuel scoop, a uh, nice scanner, so I can. Uh, 
it works quite nicely actually. I'm sure it'll do better with bigger ships, but for the moment, this one is uh, is all I've got, and I'm making do. Uh, voice attack is indeed third party. It's an external tool that you can get. It works with a number of different things, but um, if you get voice attack, you then have to buy um, a sound uh, the the elite uh, one of the elite things, um, and um, like for, from HCS, um, and they're linked from Voice Attack. It's on the bottom of your Voice Attack page. Uh, that then adds an absolute mega ton of profile stuff into um, Voice Attack, specifically for Elite, as well as offering uh, putting in a load of um, responses and things so that it talks back to you. It's really, really well done. Marky says a sidewinder will uh, fit into his cargo base several times over. Cop Lopper, am I, aren't I driving an electric train? I am not driving an electric train, no. This is a DMU. You can see the smoke there on the top. Yellow lights. I just realised this is a timed scenario. Here I am, taking my time, chilling out and enjoying the scenery. Stephen Jam, yes, this is Northern Rail's paint scheme, uh, or based on Northern Rail's paint scheme, so that's the same as Settle and Carlisle 158. Uh, Dave, yes, the Brian Blessed one is another pack you can get from HCS. There's Tom Baker as well. But to be honest, I don't see the need to invest tons of money in it. One pack seemed like it would do. And next station is Morecambe, which is the end of the scenario. No, there's no passengers to be on this one, White Mead. I'm not sure why we're driving on the right hand side again. Yeah, this is only a quick scenario, Stephen Jam. Stephen Jam, if you want to dream train sim, you absolutely should. It could well be two single track lines, yeah, absolutely. Monty. 
when will TS, Mrs. TS Commander come back? <laughs> when I get some time to make it work properly. Ah, seems like the only way you can get into this platform is if you're on line run. Well, fair enough. Essentially, it's a single line bit then, I guess. Or it's missing a junction just before the platform, perhaps. There you go, that should keep Ed happy. Actually, you should have let her a reprimand. <laughs> right, as soon as this is finished, I will do... We've got one more to do. So the last scenario is called Track Blocked Ahead by uh, Garman. Right. Yeah, it's not a bad idea, Dave. I might take a look at that. Right. Let's do the last one then. And what's it called? Track blocked ahead. Of course, if I select the right kind of scenario, I might find it. Track blocked ahead. <laughs> 